Gordon Ryan, good. Minister, our town call I am very disappointed that the Minister for Health is not here. It's the second time today that he's abandoned you know, our later groups in, in, in the speaking slots. No disrespect to the Minister of State. I want to thank her for coming to Clanwell to see our, our uh, mental health uh, issues there. Youth Mental Health uh, Charity Jigsaw has seen an increase of 50% increase in demand for its services in August this year uh, compared to last year, while there has been an over 400% increase of the traffic to its online mental health platform over the last six months. While including Ireland, which represents people with intellectual disabilities, said day services are running 50% less than what they were prior to COVID-19, and many people cannot access uh, those services uh, due to the uh, transport limitations. This is chronic, and um, it's now crystal clear, Minister, that mental health needs must be treated as a core element and a response to the recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. It's just so unfair. So unfair on these people, and it's all about COVID and all about fear and instilling fear. And I've said that earlier, and I think you know the figures need to be explained, and the two figures need to be explained. And I won't repeat again to what I did earlier on. And I, but I will ask you to insist that the figures, the collating of figures for self-harm and mental health, they are collated. They stop. You stop collating. The government did. The agency did in 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 um, April. We need to know why you hide them. Minister Saint Michael's in Clonmel. You saw it, place yourself. But unfortunately, officials have decided that they're not going to give us our beds. Since that was closed down under, um, back to, to eight years ago, it's been a disaster. We have more um, issues and more mental health problems. And Vision for Change didn't uh, deliver uh, the community response. We need beds in Clonmel. You're able to find seven, eight hundred thousand now to do up more beds for COVID. And mention the word COVID and money is like confetti or, 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 or dust falling from the sky. No problem. But you can't look after the people with their mental health. It's shameful in the extreme. And when there will be inquiries into this in 10, 15 years' time, the old government, the whole, and RT, and the whole cabal, and the fear that they're instilling will be exposed nakedly for what it is, with no research. You won't, uh, a doctor had to resi was sacked last week for speaking out. The lowest cattle won't be listened to. Nobody with a contrarian view. We're all unpatriotic. We're all, uh, either, you know, loony bins or whatever. But this, the genie's out of the bottle here. I mean, the figures I quoted them today from Denmark and Hungary and other places are showing that they have way less uh, issues than we have. They have more borders than everything else. But our wonderful, dysfunctional HSE that was dysfunctional before it started is even more dysfunctional now. More dysfunctional now, and it's, it's, it's shameful. So, St. Bridges and Carrick and Shoe, a wonderful day hospital, Minister. You pass it many times. We had uh, uh, four beds there, hospice beds, paid for in the main by the fundraising by the people of South Tip, West Waterford, your own area, and indeed uh, South Kilkenny. And it's closed. Again, taken off the people because COVID is more important. And the hell with the people in palliative care. They're dying in their homes and they, and they can't get that treatment. It is a shocking indictment of how we've gone down the road at, like a runaway train with COVID and to hell with cancer patients, to hell with stroke victims. There's a one in, an hour dying with cancer. There's 27 a day dying with stroke and heart conditions. And there are many other issues, issues that are growing inside in people's bodies that they're unaware of because they All can't right, get checked or tests. And I think it'll be, this government will be, will, will, will be brought to the Hague for war crimes when it's all over because the abandonment of the people mm -hmm. and it's shameful the way they've been treated. Thank you very much, Deputy McGrath. Deputy